Okay, I think that's probably the config we need. What's today's dinner? Um, mash, mash potato with chopped carrot in there. So like mash with chopped carrot on top and then pieces of chicken and gravy on top of that. I need to refuel this thing, really. I don't see a log kiosk. There's a log kiosk here. Hello, Mudley. And a log kiosk here, and there's a fuel there. So I reckon... Probably head down to the fuel depot initially. Do you get anything extra with a fifth wheel coupler? That's a good question, actually. You probably do, but you probably can't have the crane if you do that. You step on a tree there. Stupid. Tell me you can't side scrape a, tr uh, a tree. Oh, you didn't bring any fuel. Uh, looks like that's used for the large fuel tanker. I guess it's probably not gonna make it back without fuel. Or, so you can deliver four garage points or a lot of fuel. Or 900 litres of fuel and 1,200 repair points. So it's pretty versatile. But if you want to specifically load logs, you have to have the crane. Oh man, this turning circle is real, look at it. That medium trailer is such a pain. Look at the turning circle, we're full, we're full lock to the left. The medium log requires the log cart on the flatbed lol. What, so you're saying that that config won't work? You're saying this config won't work? Why not? Why can't the log sit across there? I'm sure I've done this in before. Murder, please. I'm pretty certain I remember craning logs into that and attaching them. Yeah. Yeah, it does work. So, lol to you.
When this thing's got logs on it, it's so heavy. It just plows itself into the mud. Does it have a first person mode? Kind of has that with offsite. If you play Mudrunner, the follow-up game, then it has like a first person view, but it's not terribly impressive. Like the dashboard is really bad, really badly done. down though. That bit's blocked off. I had a lock here for the closer ball in the garage. What? There's a lock here closer to the garage. On the other side. Well, well it depends right which now. objective you go into, I think. Yeah, this yeah. one depends. Yeah, this is closer to the objective on this side. Yeah. All depends on how uh, the radiation is over there. Well, it's not great, but it has buildings that are in the way a lot. Mud runner worth getting if you have this game. Um, yeah, I think to get to that log kiosk, you may have to come back over here where we started off with the, the getting that first truck. You can get some, like, there are some different maps in it, and like a kind of a first person view, but you may want to wait for Mud Runner 2. If you can get it cheaply, I'd say get it. But... Raging Walrus, thank you very much for subbing. Through there, or is that power line thing going to be completely in the way? Hmm. Mudrunner is on Game Pass for PC. What's Game Pass? You mean the Microsoft Store one? Right. You know, if Microsoft releases their new flight sim via the Xbox Game Pass, a lot of people are suddenly going to get an Xbox Game Pass. Put an invisible wall there, you utter scumbag. Wow. Tamashanta, wow, four years. Wait a minute. Didn't you click on 47 like two days ago, Tamashanta? Because I remember seeing it while I was offline. How does that work? Hacks, you're not joking. Thank you for four years. Four years as a mod. Unbelievable. Oh, 
this looks not good. Actually, this fence is destructible, I think. Oh, come on. It's a crummy wooden fence. I thought Russian trucks were supposed to be indestructible. I can't go under the pylon because it's an invisible box. I can't go through the broken wooden fence that's clearly rotted because it's made out of steel. Oh, seriously? Puppies! Double top! Yeah, you did, puppies. You did. That's what I'm saying. So dumb. It's almost like it forcing me into the radiation belt. See you later, firefighter. Alrighty then. I need to turn around, I think. I don't want to be facing this way. Oh, is it? How is there another discoverable thing here? How does that work? I thought we got them all. Seems to me some of these cloaks are actually cloaked. Just you. How did the Russians make a truck with a turning circle like this? Can you imagine the Russian truck driver license test? Yeah, so I'd like you to drive to the bottom of this road here and perform a 24-point turn, please. Okay. We want medium logs, I think, don't we? Something's blocking the area. What could that something be?
struggling with this awesome UI. Why, well, thank you. One team. Have you loaded any logs yet? No, nope, because I can't position my truck so that I can actually load logs. I can't even spawn annoying. them. That's the annoying well, you, that one. well, you spawn it, it'll put it in the, the V of those wood. Yeah, but it, it won't spawn it because my truck's in the way, and because of the turning circle of this truck, it's very hard to just change position. Let's try that. You can never remember where I live, Dave. You are, man. Can can one of my real fans tell Dave where I live? Like what city I live in? Because Dave obviously can't remember. There you go, Dave. Dave, you must have heard of the Basildon gags, right? I've made loads of Basildon gags. So how many logs do we need for a full load? Uh, what size uh, logs are you doing? Medium. Three. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Three? Yes, it matters. Yeah, it matters. Yeah, it matters. Yep. Small load in two or something. Well, you can only, you can only spawn one at a time now. Small can log, you can spawn at two at a time, and you need four of them. Mm. So you might be in Basel when you get, you get back from three serious. on the back. As long as they line up pretty close, you can click on them and say pack, and boom, it unpacks. We need to convince it to want to go on first because it's not parked properly. I need to remember the controls. There we go. You have to go to Vegas for 10 days. Eesh. Well, at least it's not stupidly hot, Dave. Wait, how do you open the grappler? Crane grab 2. Control 2. Extend anchors, control 3. Let's do that. This is like the worst camera angle ever.
Neither do I, Dave. I thought I'd put the extension out. Extend anchors, control three. Position anchors, control four. Push anchors, control five. Okay. How do you actually get a camera angle that makes any sense? So, on the stick, you move left to turn it right. <laughs> Is that in there? Need to posi uh, need to position two more to load up. So the controls in this thing are just the worst. That is not good. Dude, let go of it. Oh, that's gone red. Why has that gone red? Oh, my God. So, which way round are we doing it? Ryan, do you have a crate? Yeah. So, are you loading for the northwest objective? I'm trying to get the thing to twist. Oh, the bends where ball's going. I want, the, I want the grappler to twist. So I'll put the, the grappler on and then left and right. Uh. Right, down. I actually got a trailer with short lock sitting at the garage as well. I'll do that. It's ever really loaded. But in real life, you just, you'd sit on the back there and you'd have these nice little levers and you'd have a great view. <laughs> In this, it's just a massive firefight. We got two. I'll come to you then, mate. Alright. With what medium? Uh, I shot. Yeah, I'm too short. I 
shall wait until oh, that it's just out. outside. I've noticed that this truck won't fill up at the at the garage. Fuel wise. Nope. No, you're gonna do it at the fuel station. Because the first truck we have it could actually Alrighty then. It could actually fill it up at the garage. That was an effort. Raven, why don't you look at the Christmas schedule that t has told you what I'm playing for the last two weeks? Why isn't this one a load? There we go. Oh my god, look at that turning circle. That's so bad. What turning circle there, exactly? Okay, so we can't go that way. We need to figure out how we're going to get there. Okay, so am I taking this to the southern objective then? I guess so. Can't get through that way. So we're going to have to cut across yeah, here. It looks away. Yeah, Paul, if you want to take it to the southern one, I've got a truck there that has gas and repair points. You've gone the wrong way, Mudley. Yeah, and it's night time. Although you can turn left there. I guess. Oh, don't tell me we can't go that way either. Turn! Because I came in the other way. This is the radioactive bit, if I remember. See, I need to cut across here. There's all radiation here. Like the. I kind of need to cut through. But they've put multiple power poles on to block your way. <laughs> Mr. Rickson, thank you very much for four years. Mr. Rickson. Happy anniversary, sir. Do I need to transfer those logs to you or something? Or does the second bit have to be remembered? Uh, yeah, I think so. I have to, or do you have to request them? Because I don't see it. Then. There's a lot of stuff here, it's just not even on the map. Oh look, you can't get through that way. There's a perimeter wall here with a, a tower, and it's just not even shown here, look. It's a grey bit there and a little grey bit there, but there's, there's no like solid grey wall. So you can't even go that way. Begs the question, which way do you go? Can we get out that way? I know there's an opening to the right, but I was kind of wondering if there was any other way of doing it. That's scumbaggery. Is it not in the right place or something? Actually... You can't acquire this load as it's not in the right place. Do you reckon that's an opening as well? Lol. Location is blocked. Okay. Looks like an opening. I'm going to go risk it. Let's have a look. Worst case scenario, I'll we'll have to reverse it back. Right Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, 
There you go. Something here. And that one works. No, that's for the one that's. Yeah. If you require ask it for me, it drops it. And I can't move it anymore. Can you grab the other one? Yeah. That one's fine then, or something. No, uh, well, the one that you put in, I can't quite. It says it's blocked, so you're going to need to pick it up and drop it again. Okay, right, now then. If we go down that way, it's probably a dead end. Let's try and keep going this way. Is it happy with that? Yeah, I've just got to get that other log. Yeah, but I can't grab it because I have to, I'm going to have to ask it for, ask it back. So I can't grab it. There you go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, this but looks a bit muddy. Oh, it's got a truck in it as well. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna go south, gonna side, south side of this. So we don't grab it by accident. And stay on the inside to avoid the radiation. Yikes. I wish it was daylight already. I don't I don't know, Baz, I don't know if that was his Happy truck or that. Just a uh, scenery one. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Holy moly. Well ripped. Weapon heck. Jeez, that is not obvious. This is a tricky one. It's the key for the winch. What's the winch key? F. Box truck. That's enough, it's not doing anything. I have to check settings, I guess. Or controls. Welcome Left back. shoulder. Press that. It doesn't do anything. Have I not got a winch on this thing? I think maybe I don't have a winch on this. Every truck just have a winch. Well, I'm pressing the button, and I'm not getting a winch. You have to press, you have to press V first, and then click a dot and click on some the place you want the winch to. Yeah, have you selected your source and destination? Click on one of the thingies, then click on something you want to attach to, and then press V again, and then you can press F to winch. You ready to go for fuel, new No. I was looking at the map. I'm not sure if this is working very well. And of course it's dark when we have to do these things. Yeah. 
This is a bit of a pickle. <laughs> So what I, what I don't want the, if the log tips over, I'm in trouble. If I pull that, it's not going to help it. I need to be able to pull here, but I can't pull here. You don't have to stare if you don't want to. That was a close one. Almost did it. There we go. Oof. That was definitely close. <laughs> I thought we were toast. going next I assume we can go through here and then down there's a building here there's a rock there or something oh my god it feels like it's been night time for about a year Cav T thank you for 13 months sir I'm not sure what the best way is Squirrel set me up. Did he know? Hey, wait, what? He left a truck right here, and so I drove to his truck, and it's right in the middle of the, of the uh, radiation. It was fine when I was there. You went south side of it. Do you want me to move it? It's not in the way. Go down there, don't slow down. Possibly going to over. Oh, here. that's a heck of a wait. Of course, the log drop off point's going to be like scumbaggery as well, no doubt. I'm just going to be careful here, because this, this has all the hallmarks of tipping over, written all over it. So I'm just going to try and line this thing up a bit better. Logs again, sticking out of the ground. There we go. That's wrong. Okay, this isn't working. No, it's not. Right, that's one bit. That's half of it done. Yay! That's not the best way to come down, to be honest. No. Might want to go a bit more <laughs> to the left. Yeah, my 4320 has 360 damage when I got here to look to get it. And now it's daylight. I think everybody's had damage. Wait, That's I thought you left a, a truck down here, Tom. Yeah, it said like 157. Where is it? 
I don't see no truck. So that is it. That is his objective now. Yeah, I don't see it on the map, but when oh, I was right yeah. beside it, it was there. And you said I set you up. <laughs> yeah, I've got a truck down there. You can get refueled. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go up and get some fuel. There's a fuel station up here. I like how I did all that at night, and then it just went day when I delivered it. That's that's pure scumbaggery. I bet the fuel depot's covered in radiation. Wasn't even joking. Help if the truck would decide to turn. Yeah, we're we allowed to go in that way. Because I need to go straight in there. Yeah, but just the squeeze through the uh, gate box. Oh, the left of the gate. Yeah, it's narrow, but you can get through. I don't know, a truck like this with the crane like this. Just knock that thing down. Could have waited, Matthew. So the was act. Nice. Right. We got the fuel. Thank you, sir. So Almost really, I want to try and get out this way and then come along that. So we need another four at the other one then. That's it. Yep. This thing is a real pain to reverse. <laughs> what a lovely fuel station. We went, the, we went the, the difficult way. Reminds me of the BP station in Wickford. Oh, was it? Because there's a massive road here, an easy drive off. Instead of going over the edge of the beginning. Well, it worked. Maybe it wasn't that muddy down there. So. Give me a second, I'll catch up. The radiation can move around randomly at a specific place. You can see it on the map. <clears throat> you can see where it is. You see all that yellow radiation stuff. That's it. So, but the thing is, it doesn't tell you where it is. You have to discover it. There are there are warning signs in various places, but then other times you'll just drive and you'll hear the Geiger counter start kicking off. Once you've been there, it shows it on the map. I don't believe it moves around, trains around. I think it's baked into the map. Like everything else. But until, I, you know, if I was to play the map again, I could tell you for sure. I would imagine, though, that it's fixed. 
because th they make the map challenging based on yeah, down the, the terrain, down the where they put objectives, and then where they put radiation. If it was randomly yeah. generated, it might just be almost impossible or too easy. Like, I know there's some on this road here. Well, I literally can hardly avoid it. Shark Falls, welcome back. If it hits 600 damage, your your vehicle won't move anymore. Yeah, we can't fill up the garage, can we? Uh, Atlantic, yeah. thanks for one and a half years, sir. Well, as you know, it would be easier if we had just had a load of small ones. Why? I, th I think uh, Squirrel is unloading his second load now. Or is he going back? Never mind. Going back to pick up, but looks Yeah, I've got to pick up logs, so you've got plenty of time if you're trying to do something else. Oh, it'll only fill you to two thirds, that's what. If you're below two thirds level on the uh, truck, it'll fill you up two thirds. Oh, that is struggling. Had to get. Holy moly, that's struggling. Oh, do you want to take a small one then? We go fill that one up. Yeah, the camera is one of the most annoying parts of the game, Prince Simple. Because I've got a small one part next to you. Even when I remember when the game first came out, it was like the number one thing that annoyed me was the camera. <laughs> so what we so Paul's going back to pick up another four point mini. Really. Yeah. Then that means that that's it. That's the only all yep. we've got to do left on this map. Yep. Well, is there nothing else apart from that? Uh, uh, that's two, two, two it. Objectives. That's it. So I suppose road we can go and meet all at the object objective. Good do. Well, I've got a load of, of small ones. But there's the objective. Today's lunch my new pizza. What kind of pizza though? And did you put pineapple on it? Has anybody ever put sprouts on pizza? Just wondering. What about a sprout and pineapple pizza? Mm. Yuck, no. Is there anything wrong with pineapple pizza? I don't think so, but some people get really offended by it. Christmas pizza. What would a Christmas pizza look like? Turkey, cranberry, and... The Goodfellas vegan falafel pizza is proper nice. Now, I've never had that. 
I wouldn't mind trying it. That was the railroad track that I was living. You actually kind of like sprouts, but can't imagine them on pizza. Why not? Have you ever had a sprout sandwich? For those people that like sprouts, obviously, a sprout sandwich. Have you ever done that? Blimey. That was closed. That was closed. That makes you jump, doesn't it? Yep. Considering I'm right behind Rome when you quite like falafel. I mean, I've had a, um, what's it called? If you go to Boots, they do like a falafel wrap. It's quite nice. But this objective is a lot easier than the one we had. Yeah. Two points. Alright, let's try and get the camera. So when the camera is in a good position to see things, then all the controls are reversed. Which are already reversed anyway, which kind of just makes it even more hard. That was a bit better than last time. Mr. Referick. No! You scumbag! Why did you not grapple? I didn't want a half grapple, I wanted a proper grapple. Jeez, man. Now it's turned into one of those machines at the fairground. Sunday night trucking. Thank you very much, Referick. Makes you want to drive radiated logs until the end. I don't even know what they're doing with these logs. I'm just paid to move them.
I don't think that's grabbed properly. No, it's on the wrong side. an old schoolboy tree, rainbow tree. Hey, Doc. What's up? Okay, let's get out of here. You always put tomatoes and fruit salad. I like, I like big pieces of tomato with a little bit of salt on there, nice. Uh, Davy Quack, thank you for 14 months, sir. Hope you're having a good time. I've had problems with my PC, so I couldn't catch up the streams. I missed the 12 month anniversary. Oh, thank you for the support, sir. Welcome back. Tomato is for chili and tacos. What about tomato ketchup? Where would it wrong go? I think we need to go that way for a member. No, I'm just using a controller. I should have used my wheel. I've got me showing up behind me. The objective with two trucks. Train safe van. I think you should drive on the opposite carriageway to me <laughs> on the well, next car. Quite an awkward place. I see you with three trucks here. Ready. I know I have I'm two here. trucks here. You know, your trailer is a bit of in the way. Wait, this is where I got stuck last time. Well, I was feeling up and repairing vehicles. That is so misleading, that ditch.
No, I thought I could, <laughs> I thought I could latch onto you and start fooling you. But no, it doesn't work like that. It does. There's no need to pull me around. Nearly though. Yeah, I think Stefan's still ill, but um, I've not seen Gavin. Have you seen Gavin anymore, Goodney? Still looking for my mate Gavin. Definitely gonna have to move the big truck on the left. Um, I don't know who it is. That's Dom. That's Dom. Well, I can't get in right now. Are you Wait, kidding me? Are Dom? you actually kidding me? Game servers quit. Did you quit the game there? Dom? I think he said he lo he's lost power. Ah. Rip. Could he not have lost power 60 seconds later? Does this game auto save at all? No way. Um, don't know in multiplayer, but we still have to wait for t um, Tom to get up. Rip that. We were almost there. Oh, we did it. Yeah, but in Steam, we haven't done it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's um, somewhat annoying. <laughs> yeah. Same as dying in my summer car because you haven't saved for two days. Hmm. Ha ha ha. It's the third stream I watch where it all goes wrong. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Uh, Stuffle Beam, walk away. Artos, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the Nut House, Artos. To the nut house. I, what's annoying about that, though, is the fact I was about 30 seconds away from dropping those logs and completing it. Yep. Like, you, you couldn't... I don't know. It's just unbelievable. And Tom's not see. here, so I assume his Discord is not disconnected yet. Yeah, it just takes you back to a black map. What, as in it doesn't save anything? Yeah, so it'd have to be Tom. It'd have to restart it, and then it might come back, or it might not. Because normally when you come out of a game, it saves that progress, but yeah. no other, and then when you come back, you can continue playing where you left off. Well, no, that's the same in the multiplayer. I don't. Guy in chat saying cool. MP, MP does not save on the SP saves. Rip. Which basically means, yeah, everything that we just did was all for note. Yeah, I lost yeah. power to the house. Rip. I lost power to the house. I had to flip a circuit breaker. Wow. Oh, wait, did that kick you guys out too? I think this, the uh, whole thing's yeah. gone. You are a host. Because you're, you're the server. <laughs> oh, that's... Um, and we don't think it saves, which means everything's gone. I think it does save, but I'm not sure. Well, I'll fire it up and we'll find out. Give me about two minutes. 
Well, Baz, the only reason Tom was hosting the game was because every time he tried to join Motley's game, he crashed straight away. Yeah, it's been months since that happened at the house. And the only reason he we, he was host was because that was the only thing that worked. Guessing your PC Otherwise, Tom gone. just crashed yeah. out every time. Like, he couldn't join our game. Even if it was, the router's not either, so... <laughs> yeah. The game would have stayed running. I just said, Danny. Just disconnect this. Yeah, Vrom tried hosting it and Tom crashed out joining it. Tom restarted his PC, he restarted Steam, he verified the integrity of his game cache, and every time he tried to join, he crashed. So when he hosted, it worked. So that's the way we ran it. Well, I don't think it was a VPN issue, Baz. I mean, I don't get why that would crash his game, you know? So All hopefully that everybody often. enjoyed our practice run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't really predict when somebody's going to lose power. I mean, it, it, just like I say, is that right? The real burner in it. I can deal with them losing power. The burner is the fact I was 30 seconds away from finishing the whole map. That's the real kicker. I very much doubt it's so. What I suggest is Tom fires it up, we join in. If it's completely lost everything that we did, then we just do the other map instead. Um, and maybe try and see if I can host and Tom can join first. But I could host. I've got the UPS on the PC. I've got a UPS on the router as well. Well, no, but my PC would stay on. I don't think you can do dedicated servers for this. They never made one. I think you, the only way to do it is to host and then friends join. Not sure I see any way to continue. No, I don't yeah, think there will be. <laughs> the best power failure ever. It wouldn't be much of a team game if I played solo, Danny. <laughs> Frustrating. Yep. How are you doing, Tom? I'm sitting here looking, trying to find any options to continue the game. Mm. It's noble family friendly content, yeah? It's fine. There's no there's no people in this game. What would we like to do? Hey? What would we like to do cuz it looks like the game's gone. Start the new map or I have Multiplayer. Done. WB. Right, Vrom, do you want to just fire up a game and see if Tom can join it? Let's try the other yeah. map. 
And uh, which one is the other one? The canyon one. Aftermath. Or aftermath. Aftermath. Alright. It's kept. Find the infamous highly radiated chloral. We've not done that. Yeah, it's kept a Makes bunch sense. of things, but yeah. Finished Chernobyl in hardcore is not done. Finished Chernobyl co-op is not done. Like these would have just unlocked. And the random person joined again, really? Did you take friends only? Yeah, click friends only. Where's that button? Bottom right. Uh, what? Oh. And they don't give you an option to kick. Yeah, yeah. you just have to I'll leave have to do and it then again. do it again. Oh, at the bottom there, right. Before you click host game. Yeah. There you go. Well, at least Tom can join this one. After the power failure, it can join now. Yeah. Actually, at B131. Just two points and it's a six by a six by six. Nice. Why do I care about achievements? So because I guess we can go with this because I just did all of the work. I did ninety nine point nine percent of the work to get those two achievements for that lab, and the only other way of getting them is to do the whole thing again on hardcore with friends. I did ninety nine point nine percent of the work and didn't get it. Oh, maybe not. But what? He, he oh, couldn't. Yeah. Oh, he no. couldn't have started if he hadn't clicked. Oh, yeah, I'm shouldn't. fine. Yeah. The button wouldn't have been there, I guess. I'm not one oh, for chasing achievements, but if I put the effort in, I expect them. You know. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got an objective nearby and bottom right. We've got a garage top right of the map. Yeah. Left. All the fuels on the top as well. Oh, there's a few at the bottom. Bottom right. Mm. There's two carriages. So I guess we're trying to get that uh, garage unlocked, I guess. Yeah. Right, let's see what we've got. Garage parts. So what right. do we take? The small garage trailer? So all four of us bring one? How come Tom's got no engine audio for me? I'm bringing a two-pointer. Two-point trailer. Yeah. Am I meant to be able to hear your guy's engine? Should be. No clue. Because I can't. I'm sure I could before. Like when Vrom tooted his home, I heard that. I can hear your horn, Motley, but I can't hear your engine. That's weird. It's very weird. Can you hear each other? Uh, I'm not near you... anyone at the moment. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean you're not near? You're right next to me, driving away. Yeah, just drove off. Yeah, but I can't hear you. You can't hear that one. I can hear the horn. Yeah. Not the engine. For Not the engine. Okay. Garage tools cart. Carries 300 power points and one garage point. <laughs> we'll have some of that. Well, I did not notice the fuel points right there, just south of the garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one over there. Well, that's useful. Blimey, this thing's like some rev. 
So has this map got radiation? Got a lot of water. That's gold off That's the, interesting. Off the, off the water. <laughs> that was a good start. <laughs> Whoa, how much water? Oh my god. Did we almost fall off the road there? Nope. This reminds me of the flood map. So how many garage points do you have with you, Paul? Three? Um, I think, I think I think garage three. thing on the back. Yeah, it's got one garage point and 300 repair points with it. Yeah. But the thing on the truck itself looks like it's garage points as well. Is that too deep? Oh, I hate it when they put logs in the road like this, it's so annoying. <sighs> Engine on this truck sounds like a lawnmower, it's so weird. It honestly sounds like I'm cutting the grass. Gasoline, I have no idea. Mm, this looks a bit. Let's see where I am. So there's a cloak just to the left of me. Somewhere there in that tree. I guess I could get that. At least the steering on this is a bit better than the others. Most Russian trucks are always petrol because they had yeah. such a vast supply of it. They didn't have diesel trucks in Russia. Jeez. Uh, not uh, early on, no. And that the majority of them were petrol because they had such vast. Probably. Um, they probably use the same engine. Reserves of it. And the other issue is, is that petrol doesn't freeze as much as diesel does. So in the harsh Siberian winters, and that they use petrol. Come on. Going for the same cloak. From. What are you doing here? Cutting the cloak. Why well, I'm pushing you in the water. I literally turned up and nicked that, didn't it? I'm 
stuck now. Yeah, one team. I ain't going in there. That thing's bubbling. I don't know what's in there. Turning for days. That's exactly what it is. I can't get out of this, I don't think. There we go. Let's get through that gap. Uh, Crossfits, thank you for one and a half years, sir. Remember my question about oral hydrogen braces? Yes. Uh, you've now got a pallet expander in. Next month you have jaw surgery. Also, I'm 36, rib. Enjoy your Sunday evening. Dude, best best wishes with that. I, I was never brave enough for that kind of stuff. to go across the bar. Really, just to sound like a petrol V8. It's weird. It would frustrate you. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Challenges can be frustrating, that's the whole point. You need to sort of, I don't know, with, with a challenge, the only way you're going to overcome a challenge is to basically not give, not give up and quit, right? Even if it's frustrating. What frustrates me though is the UI, like the camera UI and stuff. That just annoys me. if you can drive over that bridge. You can drive over that bridge. It used to show you didn't it used to show you the depth of the water? It's not showing it on this. I don't think they did. I don't think they did. I'm in a city now. Was that mud runner then? What are the little markers that indicate the depth when you yeah, got near it? I think that's mud runner. Uh. That's a feature of mud runner, I presume. I want to know what's here. If I drive through though, I want to know what, what's happening there.
Yeah, I remember in World War II when the Germans were fighting the Russians up in um, in winter, and they had to basically like make fires underneath the fuel tanks to stop the diesel from freezing. Uh, Sis Griff, thank you for eight months. 